Okay, guys, get ready with me for the Labor Day Parade while I tell you guys, like, where I'm at um, in my life right now. And just, like, that's just chat. So, I am getting ready, and I'm going to show you the products. I'm going to show you guys the products I use, too, so I use the Anastasia. But I am getting ready now for the Labor Day Parade, and um, it is currently 9 o'clock in the morning. I use this pencil and I now use it. I use this pencil now because I'm just being cheap. So right now in my life, um, one thing about me, I always go with my calling that God has for me. And um, I feel like God just really just been calling your girl to take a step back from the love department. I've really been in that space already because for real, the dating pool is in fucking hell. But I feel like I am more so now. I'm about to be on some real Sullivan shit. Unless. <laughs> yeah. But let me not be a bird. But yeah, I'm I'm done with New York City dating scene. Oh, <laughs> I'm fucking disgusted. I'm done with New York dating scene. Like, what I, what would be ideal for me now is if I just had a man that, like, lived in another state or in another country because it would help me be able to just focus on myself. Like, I am that girl that, like, love, love takes a toll on me. And I just was telling one of my friends, like, love and sex has not been, um, has not had any positive outlook on my life. <laughs> Not even, not even outlook, like, love and sex has not been um, good to me all these years. Like, it's really not for me right now. Because I really just have to learn how to not give my all to a person. And the thing about it is, is, like, us tourists, we love so fucking hard. And it's like, when I really fuck with you, I don't even have to love you because it takes me a while to love you. But when I really fuck with you, like, you're just going to get whatever you want from me, like, You'll get it all from me. And I just feel like I'm like a obsessive lover. So I've just learned over these years to like start um, internalizing the love that I'm seeking. And when I do internalize it, bitch, I, I, make, I make a lot of money. I make a lot of connections. I make, like when I really internalize the love that I be searching for, bro, I flourish in life like... But, you know, I'm a lover girl, and I just always wanted to love on someone's son. Oh, shit. Okay. And I just always want to love on somebody's son. But love, relationships, and sex is, is not been doing me right. So, right now, I think I'm going to go on, like, a deep celibate, celibacy journey. A deep celibacy journey. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. For the most part, I'm, like, 90% sure that. I'm going to be celibate. No, for real. Like, ideally, I need me a man that does not live in the same city I live. Like, we need to be able to, like, link up, like, once a month. Or, like, that's probably not even, like, whatever. But, yeah, because I just need to focus. Like, I need to focus. But I still need me a little baby, though. Like, huh, y'all, I bitch is confused. But what I'm not confused about is that's it for me and New York guys. I'm not, I wouldn't say that's it 100% because I'm always one of me and New York guys. But um, I don't think New York is where um, my soulmate is. So the fact that I'm back in New York, like, I probably will not be, like, dating. Honestly. Everybody has an agenda. I have a lot of friends in New York, so... I feel like I'm going to just internalize that love that I'm looking for and just go out with my friends half the time and just have a good time that way and love on my kids because school time is coming and that's it because this dating shit in New York is not cutting it and dating and love just not have not been doing your girl justice. Oh my God. Like, and I don't think it's my fault. I just learned that, like, not everybody deserves your heart. 
Like, do not close your heart off at all. Everyone just does not deserve your love. And there's a thousand ways to find that out beforehand, for real. Like, if you want to be a priority and he's not really prioritizing you in certain ways. And I be feeling like, like, we be asking for the bare minimum. Like, just check on me. Girls do not want to see that man all the time. Mm -mm, that's not it. Be busy. Be fucking busy. Do your own thing. And that's the thing. Like, we be putting too much into it. I'm trying to, I'm talking to myself too. Like, unless, and, and I'm in my 30s. I'm 30 years old, literally. Unless you in your career path, like, I know a lot of women that are in their career path and, like, established. Absolutely, you can, like, want love and stuff. But, um, chill. Not I, said the cat. Mm -mm. Today, we're going to do, like, a, um, Today, I'm going to do, I'm not putting on no foundation because the parkway going to be hot as fuck. And, um, yeah, so let me go get my moisturizer so I can show you. So, I've been using this. Um, so, I've been using this. Um, yeah. But I do have me, unfortunately, like some cool people, guys. At all, but nothing too, nothing too much. So where it's like, okay, it's about to be my man at all. Mm -mm. Oh, we got to eat fucking now. Mm -mm. I'm putting my box away. My cat is going back in the box. Not that she's unappreciated. It's just like I'm 30 years old. I kind of want more, but I don't. I just want to focus on my love. Like I don't want to say like what I don't want, what I want and don't want. Cause child, I'll be switching up, but. I just really need to focus on myself. And I really want to go, um, I really want to go, like, far with with the content. And content is just so much fucking work. So, I just need to buckle down and be serious and be, um, full on. Full on, like, I just don't understand... Yeah, I'm in a place where I can't, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I can't really go on some like bashing grant right now. Like, I don't understand why nobody wants to really date anymore. And I cannot do that because I really just don't care enough anymore. I don't really care enough anymore. And I don't think I'm becoming cold hearted. It's just like, I'm really on some preserving my energy shit. Y'all just want to see me do some real illegal shit right now. So I want my lashes to be... Alright, I'm about to do this. I want my lashes to be pink, and they don't really have pink, like real cute pink mascara. So I'm gonna use that lipstick on my lashes. I just want to give a look. I don't have a problem with getting a man at all. It's about getting a man to like be on the same page as me, like who wants and has the same values as me. Without going through hell first. God, because they always come back with wanting what you want. After that, I'm like, nigga, I done had three therapists, 10 interventions, been in rehab, behind what you done did to me, and then now you ready. No, I don't want that one. Not that one. I do want to tell y'all a secret, though. I did have me a little boo when I was in Guyana. Well, duh, that's why I stayed out there for so long, but... And I'm going to do the next get ready with me. Y'all let me know if y'all want that one. That's going to be tea. <laughs> the next get ready with me, I'm going to tell y'all the difference between Caribbean men, like yard Caribbean men, like Caribbean men that's like in the country, and men in the U.S. Because it's completely different, but the motherfucking same, honey. It was cool dating a Guyana. I don't let y'all know how dating a Guyana was too. I was a princess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was a fucking princess. Let me come back. I did find some, like, glitter that I'm, like, shopping on. I will highlight my nose and my lips. Just to give me a little sparkle. Not too crazy. And then I would line my lips. I'm not going to do too much because I got my other stuff to do, so... I will line my lips. Yeah. 
and I'm using this kind of thing, but this is on some budget shit. I just went to go pick this up for the beast myself. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta be a baddie on a budget. It's been good though. Cause with the lip gloss that I usually get from Sephora, finished. So sometimes, baby, you gotta be a baddie on a budget. It hasn't been. But yeah, this will be my face for today. You like this? Yeah, this is my face for today. Let me pull a bottle. I'm about to go fix my hair. Um, and I guess I, I, I would be doing a disservice if I didn't show y'all how I look all together. Um, so wait for a picture or a cute little video of how I look. And yeah, stay tuned for the Labor Day vlog because of course I'm vlogging Labor Day. Okay, so there we go. So my look is done. And I told y'all I'm not putting the lip on my face because yeah. Because it's been like that. You guys stay tuned for the vlog and you guys can see huh, how I enjoy Labor Day.